Hi everybody, I'm Cassandra from Craft to Believe After and as always I am very very excited to be chatting to you guys this week about all the crochet goodness that I have been up to. Now let me just get straight into like the two major things that have kept me busy this week. Now a few uh, videos ago, I'm not sure if it was the previous one, the one before, I showed you these adorable uh, frontline hero bears that I have started to make for a fundraiser uh, or you know for a community service project that my son will be doing at his school towards the end of the year and I showed you this purple one and this darkish teal type of a bear. Now this pattern of course as everything I mentioned in this video um, I will link down below. So these are the two bears and I told you that I will be making many many more of them <laughs> and I am pleased to say that I have added three more bears to my little bear stash. So this is another, so this is a, a slightly lighter uh, teal color that I made uh, my little bear in. All the yarn I'm using for these bears, so all of them are going to be made with Rainbow Cotton 86, which is a, a yarn weight number two. It's a, a sport weight, and I use a 2.5 millimeter hook. Now, just for interest's sake, I thought I'd show you how much I get out of a specific skein. So, a skein of the Rainbow Cotton, so this is what it looks like. Now, you can either use the Rainbow Cotton 86. Hobby also has um, Friends Cotton 86. Now they work perfectly together. I think some of my yarn is actually like this brown. It depends on the colors that I can get. <laughs> um, so the Cotton 86, the Friends Cotton 86 and the Rainbow Cotton 86, they are practically the same thing. So I've got various colors uh, in these two yarns. Now they are 100% cotton. They are absolutely fantastic to work with. They've got, if it's in stock, they've got tons of colors, which I really like about the Rainbow Cotton. Um, for those of you who've been with me for a while, you know that Rainbow Cotton 8.4, the fingering weight, is actually my all-time favorite yarn to use for Omigurumi. I love it. Um, but the Rainbow Cotton 8.6, I must tell you, my stash has grown in the last few weeks. I've just found that I've enjoyed working with it so much. So let me give you just the stats again. 100% cotton in one of these little things. It's a 50 gram uh, skein. It's 105 meters or 115 yards. Um, it recommends a 3 to a 3.5 millimeter, but for Omigurumi, I use a 2. 5 millimeter crochet hook. So to show you out of one of these, to make one of these bears, this is how much I've got left of a 50 gram skein. So for the brown and for the whatever color you use, um, I don't think you'll be able to get like a full second bear out of it. Probably very much of a second bear, but you might have to crack open a second skein just to finish it off with so just out of interest this is the amount I have left per skein when making one of these now if you do these in the rainbow cotton 84 the fingering weight I am extremely confident that you will actually be able to get two bees out of the 50 gram skeins so if you use these ones in the rainbow cotton 84 um, obviously because it's thinner you might be able well I'm fairly certain you'll be able to get two bears uh, out of it so one color for the bear one color for the outfit and then obviously you need a small amount for the little mask which is removable the little cap is removable um, and because I'm not sure if these will be going to actual health workers or if they are going to gift it to children in hospitals I am embroidering the eyes on all of them. So none of these bears will have safety eyes in them. So this was the third one that I made. So a slightly lighter 
color teal then I also made <laughs> a pink one I really like the pink uh, so a little pink one and a much much lighter almost a minty color so I've now got five of these frontline hero bees in total now you guys you would have seen from <laughs> my thumbnail that I have gone in a whole direction that I did not see myself going so I have got a gajillion projects <laughs> on the go at the moment I'm doing the fall in love collab with uh, four other lovely ladies I'm doing hooking up with books with my crochet bestie Caroline over at Caroline for the love of crochet I am doing these frontline yellow bees I'm working on a fantastic project for October which I will announce um, in, a, in a future video so there's just a lot of things going on at the moment and then <laughs> my little crochet ADD brain uh, sees something that I have to make now you guys I don't really follow trends <laughs> while they are trending so I love jumping on a bandwagon but usually by the time I jump on a bandwagon I mean that wagon has been parked the horses have been unhitched I'm like the only one left on that wagon so <laughs> I don't for some reason I don't pick up on trends when they are happening so the the projects I'm going to show you now they were like massively I think trending months and months and months ago I finally saw it on um, sometimes I just watch random videos on on YouTube while I'm busy crocheting you know just to have something in the background and uh, a lady that I'm subscribed to called Mary makes now I've been subscribed to for a while but I haven't watched a lot of her videos and then one of the videos um, she was talking about uh, these mini dinos that she had made and she actually has a very very nice tutorial that was put out months ago <laughs> <laughs> so I went uh, onto that video because now I was interested in these mini dinos that she was talking about because they are based on the very very popular uh, Timothy the T-Rex pattern by Blue Phone Studios which I have I've got that pattern I purchased it um, a year or two ago I've made Timothy the T-Rex now her pattern, um, Mary makes pattern, is based on Timothy the T-Rex but she scaled it down quite a bit and for some reason that little mini dino just got stuck in my head and I couldn't get it out so yesterday, today is Sunday, uh, yesterday Saturday morning I decided I just wanna <laughs> I just wanna make one to see what they look like and you guys <laughs> this is it it is so tiny now I think she makes hers with a four weight uh, worsted weight medium four yarn this is done in a DK so this is confection DK from uh, crochet society and it is it is tiny like if I put it on my hand I don't even know can you sort of imagine the scale <laughs> of this thing? This is my hand. This is this little teeny tiny dino. It is so adorable. I just, I love it. So as I say, the mini dino was a massive fad. A fad. What do you call it? I don't know. It's like it was a craze, you guys. A craze because this uh, tutorial from Mary Makes had over 300,000 views um, so it is a fairly popular thing to make now I think the reason I don't always jump on uh, whatever is in at a specific moment is because I don't crochet for markets so I don't need to do projects that's quick or fast or you know that I can whip tons of because I don't 
do markets. I crochet for the absolute pure pleasure of it. I do whatever takes my fancy. Um, I crochet whatever I feel like doing. If I only do, want to do one of something, I do one. If I want to do 20 of something, I do 20. But because I don't have to do it for a very specific purpose most of the time, I just, I don't follow trends. But this was too cute. Now, obviously, I could not stop at just making one. So I did. Actually, this was the second one I made. The first one I made was this guy. Now, he is made from the most recent Crochet Society uh, subscription box. The latest one that came out. This blue and this yellow color was part of that box. It's Confection DK. So I made this one first and then I did <laughs> a little friend for him. Now, friends, it did not stop there because I'm telling you, I shouldn't watch these random videos. I was watching a market prep video of a completely different channel that I'm not even subscribed to. It was something that popped up on my feed. For some reason, I like these market prep videos, although, as I said, I don't do markets. Um, but I like seeing what they make, what's quick, what's cute. Um, and this girl, I can't even remember the name of the channel. She was talking about her market prepping. But in the background of her video, she had on a desk one of these, but made in a plush velvet yarn. So, of course, you know what I had to do. I had to make it <laughs> as a little plush. It is so cute. Now, this is made with, uh, you will know from my, <laughs> my leggy frog uh, craze that I went on a couple of months ago. I bought like a ton of green uh, parfait chunky. So this is parfait chunky. I think it's the key lime. And then this pink is a uh, hobby honey bunny. Uh, so one of the, but it, it's the exact same size, but this is, the pink is uh, Honey Bunny from Hobby, the green is Parfait Chunky from Premier. Um, but it is so cute in this plush. Now for this guy, the, the smaller ones, I embroidered the eyes. So I just gave them teeny tiny little embroidered eyes. For this bigger one, I did give him these cute little kawaii eyes because I just thought he needed it. Now, is he not fantastic? Now, I'm telling you, these guys whip up quickly. I did two of them, these small ones. I did them yesterday morning, Saturday morning. Then this morning, which is Sunday, I did this one. Now, the stripes, you guys, it is a Pain. And I think that's the reason why I don't do the bigger Timothy the T-Rex that often because Timothy the T-Rex actually has got more stripes. I think he's got something like five stripes and you know I cut the yarn every time so I don't carry the yarn. I cut, I tie it off. So every time where there's a color change I actually cut the yarn. Um, so when you don't have to do it as often like with these guys it's not that bad. But, <laughs> uh, what can I tell you, friends? I knew I had a lot more parfait chunky yarn. And one of the parfait chunkies I've got is the pom-pom. And I thought, I wonder how much quicker this pattern will be if I did not have to do any color changes. So yes, friends, Today, which is Sunday, <laughs> I whipped up this one in parfait chunky pom pom. Now, if you don't have to do color changes, these go even quicker. I'm telling you, you have to make these dinos. They are super, super adorable. Like I say, I do have the purchased pattern from Blue Phone Studios. It's a lovely pattern, but these mini dinos from Mary Makes You guys, they are absolutely brilliant. I love it. It's really, really quick. Um, her tutorial is lovely. She's got a very chatty. It's like you are sitting with a crochet friend 
and she's teaching you how to crochet. So for very beginners, this tutorial is absolutely fantastic. She has the written instructions uh, on her website, which I will also link in the description box below. So I, for instance, I prefer a written instruction. I very rarely use a YouTube tutorial, um, but for the striping, um, you know, this <laughs> at one point my striping looked a little weird. So I opened up her tutorial to see how she did the color changes, uh, just to see if I did it the same way as what she did. But in some of my, like this one, for instance, I did adjust the, the striping a bit because sometimes it looks like it starts like in the middle of the neck, but then it ends too short on this side. So on this one, I did adjust the start and end of, you know, the striping that it's a bit more symmetrical when you look at it, you know, that it looks the same on both sides. Um, but she's got a lovely tutorial. I highly recommend it. As I say, 300,000 views on that tutorial for this amazing pattern. So that is it, you guys. What can I say? This has been my latest obsession. I just cannot tell you how much I have enjoyed making these little dinos. And I can say with a fair amount of certainty that there will be more of these ones, especially these little plush ones, because they are such a nice size. Let me put it next to this bear. You can see it's even smaller than my little bear. Very, very cute. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant to do. So I think even for those of you who do markets, because they don't take long at all, and especially if you do a variegated or something like this pom-pom, the parfait junkie pom-pom is such a cute, cute yarn for a project like this. And I mean, if you don't have to do color changes, it goes even quicker. So highly recommend. You guys have got to try it. You cannot let me be the only one who's alone on this bandwagon. <laughs> Come on, join me in the late bandwagon gang. All right, friends, that's it for this week. Um, a few things to remember on the 15th, we have the reveal for hooking up with books that Caroline and I are doing. Uh, the last two months we did the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse. Uh, reveal day for our projects on the 15th. So if you want to join in, if you want to send us your projects, a few of you lovely folks have sent in your photos already, um, please have it to us by Wednesday uh, because we need to edit it into our videos. Um, and I think, oh, all for fall, I'll put the, um, a link to the first video where we announced the all for fall we were doing, not all for fall, fall in love. All for fall was our fall collab last year. Uh, fall in love, hashtag fall in love is our fall collab this year. Um, I know many of you are excited you're joining in. It's fantastic, you guys are awesome. We love doing this with all of you. Uh, it's always so much more fun when there are more of us like cheering each other on. All right, you guys, that's it for this week. I hope you are having a fantastic weekend. Uh, I hope you're ready for the week ahead. And as always, friends, stay safe and stay crafty. <laughs>